Okay. So we're here at Wearable Technology Europe in Berlin, and uh, I'm here with uh, a new wearable te technology exhibitor, Benisha, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Patrick van der Weyer. Hi. So My Patrick, is... tell us about your company and products. Tell us about uh, what you do. Well, actually, we are a B2B company, so our products is what our customer want them to be. Um, actually, we have been working on a number of these concepts, as we call it, and one of the most uh, astonishing concepts is the one over here, which is a completely integrated uh, back sensor that um, has a number of very, very important um, um, aspects to it. The most important one for medical applications is um, because it's on skin, it uh, provides an absolute body reference frame, which is quite important for medical applications. Uh, two other very important points are the hyper accuracy, it's 0.3% of the displacement, and the very, very high sampling rate. We go to 1000 Hertz, which is quite, quite fast. 100 times faster than is required for human uh, applications, but anyway, we can come down from that. That's the main issue, as a matter of fact. So, so how would you say your products are helping uh, wearable technology move forward? Well, we um, are actually in a specific niche of wearable technologies. First place, we're on body, which is a specific family of wearable technology. Uh, and moreover, I would even call it a an invisible wearable technology. Again, also some sort of subfamily. Why invisible? Because, as you can see here, because it's on skin, you necessarily need to uh, wear clothes afterwards. I mean, unless you go bathing, uh, stuff like that. But invisible because it is on skin and because you can wear your clothes over it. So, so the issue about water uh, resistance, is that, is that made it uh, a challenge? Or, uh, can you? The, the issue you mentioned about uh, as long as you don't go bathing, so... Uh, no, 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 that's, that's not an issue. I mean, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying, it's an invisible wearable technology. Yeah. As long as you not go bathing, I mean, okay. then it becomes visible, of course, as you can see here. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. what I'm saying. Okay, excellent. And, and so... What are the opportunities, do you think, in, in the wearable technology market for this? You mentioned the healthcare sector, that's a big area for you. Um, any other opportunities you're seeing? Well, we are talking to a lot of uh, uh, parties at the moment. And uh, an important uh, number of these parties are in top sports. So, uh, professional sports. There you need uh, a higher level of body motion capturing and you would usually uh, need in a uh, consumer market where you rather talk about shirts and approximate results and indicative measurements and stuff like that. This is much more for high level measurements for, for, for really getting that, that, that last extra hundreds of a second from, from a top athlete in, in some sort of discipline be it a tennis player or a volleyball player or whatever other sports. Every, everywhere, any sports where body motion capturing and the advancement you can, you can expect uh, as a professional sportsman has any relevance at all. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of sports, of course. And this is your first time at Wearable Technology Europe. Uh, how have you found it? Overwhelming, yeah. <laughs> we are... We are, as a matter of fact, uh, stampeded a little bit. So, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> that's a good thing. Nice problem to have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, Patrick, thanks very much. Yeah. Thank